watch your head on the way in if you're oh, oh my god i just hit it <laughs> really toasty like it's actually nice and warm in there oh you are soaking wet my friend <laughs> yeah there's farm animals to visit we yeah. can check out the barn and um tomorrow we're having breakfast a farmer's breakfast yeah We are taking you on another adventure. Today we are sleeping in a Mongolian yurt yep. on a biodynamic farm. But and we're hungry. Surprise. We're hungry. In true Canadian fashion, we've had to stop at Tim Hortons. Timmy's. What did you get? <laughs> Show us. I got a biscuit yep. with bacon, cheddar, and egg. This is my bun, which is going to go with my chili, large chili. A nice, reliable thing. That I, <laughs> it sure I, is. From, from Tim's. And the reason we're eating now is because we've got a bit of a longer drive. It's going to be an hour and 40 minutes to get there. Yeah. But we're going to be driving through the countryside, so it should be really nice. Hopefully, and the rain will stop. Also, we got to warm up, too, because mm. it's a cold and damp day. And we're also just people that like to eat. So, bon appetit. Manu Hills. Apparently it's bear country, black bear country. Yeah, there's, there's the chance of encountering one. We read what to do if we if we do encounter one. Of course, I grew, I grew up in, with blackberries. Yeah, you've got to back away and act calm. But yeah, it yeah. is very cold. We have bundled up like you would not believe. Well, you got to show the layers. I'm actually getting, I get, I get to wear my jacket Hang again. Hang on, let's do me first. Okay, Let me. show me what you got. I have a t-shirt. Shirt, yeah. I have... A light sweater, yeah. brown. I have another woolly knit. <laughs> I have a waterproof jacket. Yeah. And I have this nice padded... Kenora dinner jacket. Yellow bean jacket. <laughs> I yeah. wish I had mittens. I did find the toque in my yeah. luggage. And you're still not that warm. No, no, it says three degrees, but with the wind chill, it's I think it three. might be below zero. It's this is such a contrast from yesterday. I know, we yeah. went from 18 degrees to this. Yeah. I didn't pack for this. And let's see your layers. And for me, I actually get to wear my denim jacket. I gave it back. Nice. So I've got four layers, not five. Flimsy t-shirt, light flannel. I've got my windbreaker and this. And I'm still cold, like I can barely feel my hands. Toque, of course, and yeah. We're just gonna brave it. I don't know how long we'll last, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it our best shot. Well guys, that was actually a very nice and enjoyable walk. It kind of reminded me of being 
in Scotland or Ireland it's just so green and so mossy it almost looks a bit like an enchanted forest or a haunted wood even oh just a little bit muddy um, but yeah I guess that's late spring for you here in Ontario also really cool forest with is it birch or beech trees the white ones one of the two and yeah now we are heading back to the car and we are going to continue with her drive we need to get to Durham um, and we're planning to visit some falls once we get there so see you in a bit the road trip continues all the noise behind me that sound we made it to McGowan Falls pretty impressive like they look really powerful yeah don't they it's a lot bigger than I was expecting I was yeah. kind of expecting a puny little, little thing. falls well I told but, you it's uh, gonna be little falls hey, it's bigger than I thought so the big little falls yeah. yeah so basically we made it to the town of Durham it's yeah. a place that was founded by Scottish settlers and at one point, there was a very important flour mill and sawmill that the town kind of revolved around. Yeah, so around. it's one of the more historic towns in the area. And this is just impressive. We've been driving for over an hour, so it's nice to get out, stretch our legs, and yeah, we're going to go do it from every angle possible. So, good job. Hello from the Hunger Mobile. Hunger Mobile. <laughs> we made it to the town of Durham in yeah. search of mid afternoon dinner, would it be? Well, it is, yeah, it's not It's not dinner time. It's like and it's past lunch. merienda, right? Yes. <laughs> in the middle of the day. So, yeah, we came to New Orleans Pizza and we yeah. ordered the large basil pesto. Yes, this was your choice. What were the toppings that lured you in? The goat cheese, yeah. the basil, the pesto, the black olives. Uh, I'm, I'm so hungry I'd eat any pizza right now. So yeah. I didn't, so didn't matter to me. I'm going to eat part of my portion now and the other later tonight. I'm probably going to eat my entire portion now. Okay, but then and don't none later. expect a slice hey, later. When it comes Just to saying. when it comes to v, uh, when it comes to pizza, I have only one mode. It's like the Hoover mode. Da -da, da -da. Oh, it's warm on it's warm on the lap. I love it. New Orleans. Pizza. Oh gosh. Can get it open. There we go. Oh. oh. That looks so much better than I thought it would. Look at that. Wow. wow, it's totally wow. loaded. Look at that. So instead of tomato sauce, the base is pesto. And it's really nice. Super stringy cheese. I love that. Yeah. Happy with it? Yeah, it's perfect. And we've got our food sorted for the rest of the day. So that's nice. We can just settle into the accommodations and kind of enjoy being there. Mm -hmm. We have arrived at home sweet home for the night. This time it is a Mongolian yurt 
and yeah. we are staying on a biodynamic farm so that's pretty exciting we're hoping to go visit the farm animals a bit later but first we wanted to give you a tour of the interior i've got to say we just dropped off our luggage it is really toasty like it it's actually nice and warm in there such a huge difference well there's, the a, there's a wood outside. burning stove so yes yeah. so they lit the stove about a half an hour before we arrived yeah. And yeah, let's just take you inside so you can. Yeah. I wish you could feel the warmth. We, we kind of had to muster our courage to come back out here, <laughs> to be did. honest. We did. So, watch your head on the way in if you're. Oh, oh my God. I just hit it. Watch out if you're tall. Watch out if you don't listen to instructions. Oh my gosh. <laughs> of course, that would happen to Sam right yeah. after he's been warned. So, shoes off. I brought slippers, so. Put them on. I'm gonna put these on. Oh, this is nice, nice. Oh, are those the ones you got in Chile or Peru? No, these are from Argentina. Oh. And I got these before I even traveled there with you. I've had these for a while. What? Yeah, these are special. Se the secrets that we have in secrets. our relationship. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Slippers. <laughs> Slippers. Okay, so let's begin the tour. Basically, what you see is what you get. Open yeah. concept. Um, but basically, the first thing you see as soon as you come into the yurt, aside from our luggage and scattered boots, is firewood. So this will keep you toasty in the yurt no matter the weather outside. Then we have this little stand with a wash basin, kind of the old fashioned way for a little ba -ba -ba bird, bird bath. bath. Ba -ba -ba you know, bird face, bath. maybe armpits. Are you a good are braver. you are you a good bird bather? We'll find out tomorrow. Are you tomorrow. a good bird bather? <laughs> bird bather. Do you bathe like a bird wall? Then we have a double bed. Yeah. Lots of blankets, duvets. I think we're gonna be really warm. We've got lots of layers plus the stove. Right. If we keep going around here, they've left us filtered water for drinking mm -hmm. and also a little teapot. Yeah. Some teas, some matcha, black so tea. We will make some tea yes. on the wood burning stove. The kettle is the already on there. the stove, so we're good to go. Mm -hmm. Our little dining table, two yep. chairs. We've got a nice candle, some flowers. And then information about the farm and how to operate the wood stove. Here we have a dresser. We have some matches in case we need them to start up the fire again, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we really ought to uh, tend to that well. Yeah, we're not we're <laughs> That's not gonna It's gonna determine our the comfort of our sleep. Yeah. So. <laughs> Another bed. This one's a single. Is this one yours? So no, you need to keep me warm tonight if oh. we're going to use the double, okay? okay. Um, yeah, you could have up to three people here. Then we have a lovely sofa, a couch. Yeah, which is really close to the stove. Yeah. We can actually maybe even roast marshmallows from the couch. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. We we'll, still have them. We'll roast the marshmallows. We can even grab one on a piece of kindling stove. or something on the stove. Yeah, and yeah. that is the tour. If you look up... Yes. Well, up, 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 up. and there's the view. It's another cloudy day, so probably no stars tonight. But if you get lucky, yeah, with clear with a clear sky, maybe. Yeah, and something that's really cool for us on a personal level is that we've spent quite a bit of time in yurts in the past. We have. Yeah, when Kyrgyzstan. we traveled to Kyrgyzstan twice, we got to stay in yurts, uh, actually many nights, and so to be back in a yurt. Certainly reminds me of that trip we did a few years ago. Central Asia days. Yeah, we have a lot more to see there in Central Asia. I'd love to do, do another trip. We do. Yeah. Okay, so now that we are all settled into the yurt, I wanted to take a moment to talk about this week's video sponsor, which is Soundcore by Anchor. You may recognize the name because we have worked with them before, but today I wanted to tell you about their new product, which is called the Life A2NC earbuds that I've been testing out. And the cool thing about these earbuds is that they have different settings you can select, whether you're outdoors, indoors, or using public transportation as you commute to work. And based on that setting, you can just watch as ambient sounds disappear. These earbuds also offer super clear calls because they have six microphones. So that means you can even use them in really crowded spaces where you have a lot of background noise. And also their sound provides 50% more bass so you can really get that thumping sound when you're listening to your music without really sacrificing the clarity or treble. And lastly, they offer 35 hours of playtime, but even if you only charge them for 10 minutes, you'll get an hour and a half. So that's pretty cool. So if you wanna check them out, we're gonna have a link in the description box below for you. 
So we're now going to visit the farm because apparently today is market day and they have lots of nice goodies, baked goods. Maybe we'll get a little sweet treat, something to snack on. With the tea. Yes. And also I want to visit Watch your step, huh? the chickens. I nearly stepped on a giant yeah. puddle. Yeah, there's farm animals to visit. We yeah. can check out the barn. And um, tomorrow we're having breakfast. I don't know if we mentioned that already. A farmer's breakfast. Yeah. Wet, my friend. Mm -hmm. You are soaking wet. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. 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 Rosie! Oh, Rosie! I am Oh wow, you're getting two cookies, huh? Right, we're cozy in here. Yeah, it's almost tea time. So we got the goodies from the shop. Sure did. Got a couple cookies, a couple squares. Oh, it's gonna go so nice with the tea. And yeah, we're just gonna throw another log on here. So you can see we've got a good situation going on yeah, down the there. Yeah, the fire hasn't gone out. We've still no, got it, flame in the back. We've got some coals going. That's and cool. I'll show you how to open it up in a minute. But first I'm gonna throw this in here. So this keeps it open up top. The flute. The flute. And when you go to bed at night, when you don't want it to be burning as much, you just twist it like that. Yeah. About 90%. But 90%. For now, we don't want to close it completely or the fire will go out. That's right. But we need to close it a bit. So yeah. it's a slow burn. So it's a slow burn. And it's getting to that point. So yeah. soon, soon we'll be able to so tighten up a bit. But tea time. Tea time. Okay. Tea so time. now it's time for the goodies. We're going to show you what we got at the market. I'm going to show you how big they are. Put this over your face. Where'd you go? Head size cookies. Oh, this smells so Does nice. This smell good. Ooh, oatmeal, chocolate chip. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Oh wow. This is peanut butter. This is mm. this is amazing. These are hazelnut squares. Triangles. Triangles. They're right? triangles. Hazelnut chocolate triangles. Mm. Looks so good. And I made some fennel tea. I think it's like fennel, peppermint, mm. and something else you would like. Those are amazing. This is even better than the cookies. Does it get any better than this? Being in a yurt, right by the wood burning stove. And Living just, the life. It's good to I'm get, I, to, I just need to take a siesta right by the <laughs> fireplace. Huh? Now the part you've all been waiting for, I know with bated breath. Yep. What are the washing facilities like? The outhouse. The sure. outhouse. And guys, it's pretty fancy. Look at that. It's made out of sturdy wood. Looks pretty cool. Got take a us in, Sam. I shall take you in. Give so us here the, is the handle. Tour. Twisted to go in. Toilet just like this. It's got wood chips. You throw in the chips. Hand sanitizer. Toilet paper. A romantic candle. Nice. Or if you've been eating too much chili for the day, I suppose. And here are your instructions. One scoop for number one and two scoops for number two. Awesome. And if you're like Audrey, you might need three. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Get out of here so I can go already. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you. 
she says. Good morning. Good morning. How, how do we look? How, how are we starting off the I'm day? Sure, I'm sure fairly disheveled. We've been wearing our toques mostly to stay Ooh. warm in here, huh? Yes. Yeah. There are no mirrors in this space. So this zero, is like the first Zero time. mirrors. <laughs> We're like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, so that was our night in the yurt. How did you sleep? It was. I actually slept fantastic. So the key was we, we really put on some extra logs before yes. we went to sleep on the yes. fire. I basically layered up. We crawled into bed. What, we had like three or four different uh, blankets. Lots of blankets. Yep. Yeah. And then kind of curled up like a cat, fell asleep. But it was a tale of two stories for me because I ended up waking up uh, a few hours later and I was mm -hmm. like sweating. It was too much. So I shed basically layers. I took off my flannel. I took off my toque. I went over to the other little bed. He abandoned me. <laughs> yeah, I did. And then I woke up in the morning and the fire had gone out. And I was like, it was like, you know, in those cartoons where you see like little teeth chattering cold. Yeah. Yeah. And it was really cold this it's morning. really cold. Yeah, we have put on the fire again and that's really helped. And then I also crawled back into the proper bed, layered up, got under those blankets. And did not, did not get out until now. Yeah, so now we're just packing up. We're waiting for it to be 9.30 so we can walk over to the main house and have mm -hmm. our farmer's breakfast, which I'm really looking forward to. I hope there's some bacon and eggs. Yeah, I'm excited about that. We, we honestly have no idea what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. We've just been thinking about it, trying to guess yes. what it could be. But yeah, I do feel like I need some calories to warm up this morning. Yeah. So. Also, this was a really fun experience. The one thing Sam and I were saying is we'd probably recommend for you to go once it's like late spring, like mm -hmm. early spring might still be a little too cold. Yeah, a little bit warmer would be definitely better. Yeah. That being said, there are people who came here in the, in the winter. That's true. So That is true. Bring your thermals <laughs> you'd coming have, in winter. You definitely have to have, have your thermals on. So that is the morning update for you guys. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Going into their ears. <laughs> well, guys, hey guys, we are back on the road heading home, but we just wanted to take a moment to talk about our breakfast and the yeah. farm tour we had. That was so cool. That was so cool. The breakfast was amazing, all the products were yes. made and produced on the farm. There's a richness and a quality that you just don't get that you buy from the on store. Parallel. Yeah, so on parallel. So a huge thank you to Michael, the owner who yeah. prepared breakfast in his kitchen. It was amazing. He kept on coming out with course after course yeah. after course. Yeah, we started oh. off with coffee. We yes. had um, incredible porridge. Yeah, a farmer's yeah. porridge, the best porridge I've yeah. ever had. With maple sugar, maple syrup. With maple syrup. Then there was homemade bread. We had cheeses. Yeah. From the cows on the farm. So many yeah. different cheeses that were just Sliced delicious. Meat. Yeah, um, we had honey, jams, honey, jam. juice. And even the even the cream that we poured into the coffee was had a richness. From the cows yeah. on the farm. It was great. Yeah. And like then he came out. I think this was like the fourth course. Like, do you guys want eggs? <laughs> but we had eaten so yeah. much, we just we, couldn't. We were already at brunch levels of fullness. Yeah. But yeah, we would really recommend that if you guys go and stay at the yurts, try the farmer's breakfast. It's mm -hmm. twenty dollars per person, but you're gonna get a feast of a meal that you won't soon forget. Yeah, exactly. And then 
And then we did a tour of the farm, which mm -hmm. was which was also very fascinating. Very cool. We got we to got... meet all the cows, got to learn their names. Yes. <laughs> got to meet the four dogs on the property, the cats. We met the cats, <laughs> the horses. Yeah. The pig who had just given birth to the little piglets. Yeah. So it was a really nice experience. It was great. That's kind of like, a, it's just a whole, whole different world out there. It's really cool. It's, uh, I, I could have spent a few more nights for sure. And you know what? It'd be so nice to go back in the summer because they put on concerts mm -hmm. um, out on the farm. And we also learned that for people staying in the yurts, they actually have a hot tub that you can heat with firewood. Yeah. Um, and they do like an essential oils spa. Man, so <laughs> That's totally my kind of thing. I would uh, I'd yes. be all in for that. So yeah, just great to get away for a bit. Just mm -hmm. a few hours from the big city. There's opportunities yes. like this in all directions directions really all directions and um yeah we'll definitely be doing a whole lot more unique accommodations in the spring and summer so mm -hmm. we hope you'll join us for those yeah see you in the next video thanks for watching bye. guys bye